Hello, my pretties. How are you guys? Let's get into this message that I have for you. If at any moment this reading helps you or um, resonates with you, go ahead and click the like button and let me know, okay? Um, also, personal reads are open right now. And I'm also going to be restocking things. I'm working on a big sale for you guys. I just want to get it together because I kind of want to have it like organized and stuff um so i was gonna do a live but i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know right i know y'all asked me to go live more often and i'm definitely gonna try so i'm working on getting that together for you guys i want to do a big sale you know what i'm saying so everybody um could just get something you know um so yeah so let's get into it so um, in the last reading, I had mentioned to you guys about people energy harvesting, right? A group of people, okay? This could be a cold, COVID, whatever the case is. These people are all having sex with each other, okay? Ritualistic sex. I don't care if it, if, if they're family members or whatever the case is. There's people in there that's having ritualistic sex with each other, okay? Um, that's what I picked up. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's for, it's, 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 it's what I picked up, all right? Um, also... Um, we picked up that definitely that the way that this is going to work is that they're, um, utilizing like the energy from your chakras for their, for themselves. Okay. That's energy. That's what energy harvesting is, or it, it's still in your energy point blanket period. And a lot of times they do it while you're sleeping or whatever, what have you, or they do it through sex. You know, um, in the last three, we picked up someone, um, picked up an attachment, a parasitic attachment by having sex with you know, one of these people that's in that particular group, okay? What else? I just want to catch you guys up to speed. If anything, go watch the last reading, okay? So I had mentioned in that reading that I asked Spirit before, like, okay, so what is what what really is it when it when it comes to that energy harvesting shit? Like, what's really happening? All right. Now I pulled cards on it again, okay? So basically, what it feels like, you know what, let me pull, okay, let me pull, but what it feels like, and this is exactly what I picked up in the last read, is like, these people slander your name, gossip about you, stalk you, and do things to scare you and make you live in fear, okay, they do all these things to make you live in fear, they throw magic at you, Some okay, for some of y'all, I just heard some of y'all think y'all gonna die, okay, like, these are people that are sit back and smile in your face, you know, um, because they're doing this shit in secret. So at the same time, you're very anxious because they, they want you to feel like you're losing it. You're going crazy. They want you restless. They don't want you to have any peace. And the reason why they do this, okay, and I never knew this. I never knew this part of the game, okay? The reason why they do this by throwing all this magic at you is to get your consciousness in a state of fear so that then this whatever entity, okay, vampiristic entity can feed off of that, okay? Wow, they just said to me, Lord have mercy. They just said spirit cooking. That's what they just said. But I don't think that's what spirit cooking is. But they just said that to me. Oh, Lord. I don't need that. I wish I wish I could bleep shit out. I don't do no editing on these videos. But I just, I don't, like. I get tired of having the, 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 the messages, the heavy ass messages sometimes. Like, sometimes, like, I just want to sit up here and be like. <laughs> You know, I just sometimes want to be cookie cutter. You understand what I'm saying? But I guess not. Show me magic. Yeah, they get they they try to do things to give you anxiety, to make you anxious. Like they try to make you not see your foot in front of you, like smoke and mirrors. Want you to always be scared. Yes, emotional, over emotional, feeling overwhelmed and shit like that. Okay, so you always in the state of anxiety. It's literally like the gift that keeps on giving. This shit is kind of crazy. It's like they project fear onto you. They give you, um, they put magic on you to give you obstacles and shit like that. And once you get into that energy, your energy field looks like this, all scattered and fragmented. And they come eat off that shit. They feed that shit to them entities, or the entity comes and feed off of you. Okay, so they oh they said magnesium powder. You guys could um have um yeah this is. 
Magnesium powder, okay, can help you relax. You might want to take that before bed or drink calming teas before bed or just drink calming teas, period. Um, another thing, too, you might want to play relaxing type music, binaural beats, whatever whatever floats your boat, whatever resonates with you and your energy, okay? Um, valerian root, um, somebody had told me about that before. I personally, it didn't do nothing for me or it made me feel, I don't know, it depends, okay, on the person. Um... Valeria, and then there's some other route, but you guys could do your own research and look at natural ways to calm yourself down because damn sure don't look into no medications because that's that's not gonna that ain't gonna help when it comes to you being fed off of okay it may help you but in a situation where you're someone's doing this type of magic on you it's not gonna help this uh, Okay, I hope y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, look at that. This is a this is a, this makes me feel like there's some sort of parasitic energy on the um on the sacral. Like I said before, with this Queen of Wands and the Devil in reverse, there's a parasitic energy on the sacral in the womb. I told y'all Yoni steams. I don't know how I don't know um some some women do the um Yoni pearls. I mean I tried it, but. I ain't get the results that the other girls got. I want results, results. Like, I want to see. But I ain't seen nothing, so. Yeah, cord cutting, detaching. Stop having sex with, with, with whoever you having sex with. Abstaining is going to help. Those things came up in the last read as well. Yes, abstaining from sex with the world in reverse. Sometimes, definitely cord cutting, yeah. Um, detaching yourself from the past as well because constantly thinking about this situation or, or, or living in the past or which is which is ang no anxiety is living in the future okay living in the past which is depression okay um it helps them attach to you as well because you're, you're constantly worried about what they're doing and so on and so forth this is all about taking your power back I just heard y'all can't fade me. Like, keeping the energy of, like, y'all cannot fade me. Y'all just can't. Like, waking up every morning and saying, I call all my energy back to me. Cord cutting, chakra clearing is going to be very important. I tried to tell y'all before I did a whole live on it. I really don't want to mention it in this read. Chakra clearing. Okay. Maybe we'll talk about it another time again, but clearing your chakras is important here. Okay, another thing that you guys could do it's making me feel, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Cleanse your mirrors. Cleanse your mirrors. Wipe your mirrors down. I keep my mirrors covered if I'm not using them, okay? But um, wipe your mirrors down with ammonia or, you know, whatever cleansing stuff you want to use. Florida water. I, I, I would do ammonia. Show me what's right there. Cleansing yourself. Constantly taking spiritual baths. I told y'all to get my um cord cutting bath off the website, theprettyoracle.com. So just like that. All right there. Yeah. So, so, you know what's crazy? So, they're telling me that, yeah. So, listen, they're telling me that whenever y'all block them or whenever y'all um, take action to do these things, right, these people are going to starve, okay? They're going to starve and they're not going to be able to, um, to receive any sort of growth because this is how they eat, literally. Like, these people are vampires. This is how they eat. And then another, another way is, like, they monetize you and your energy so if they cannot get to you they don't get rewards from them entities that they're dealing with and i hope that you guys are picking up what i'm putting down you are their bread and butter for i just heard unbeknownst to you some of y'all know and some of y'all don't know show me show me this like you'll notice the attacks like like um 
the attacks start to get like not stronger but more persistent you know what i mean like they get real mad when they can't um eat off of you and that's what uh i picked that up before um in another one of the reads especially cut them cords yeah this is this person yo you know you guys i keep getting this king of pentacles whoever this is this is a person that's at the head of the coven listen y'all i told y'all i told y'all this before there's two covens that i pick up matter of fact three it's the witches would have be the bitches okay it's it's a group of females then it's a group of all males we call them the the womb raiders and then it is a group of family members mixed in with somebody from the womb raiders but on on two in two of those covens this person is at the top in the two like i said because of the the family members that some of you guys are connected to or yeah the family members that some of you guys are connected to are connected with somebody who's in the womb raiders which this person is the head of the womb raiders okay And so that means those two those two groups of, of people give all of that to this person. They go funnel that energy back to this person. This person is a public figure or a preacher, a pastor, or some shit. I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. Now, the three witches with a B, like those, those are just like, I don't know. They, they, them chicks is like, like. I don't know who they are. Like, I don't really know who they are. Like, for some of y'all, it's like family members of yours. Like, they still in inheritances and shit. And some of them is like just bitch, witches that you work with or something like that. They they don't really have nothing to really do with this. They do. you. They could in your situation, but that they're a separate um thing. Them other two, this person right here, this person right here. Yeah, what did I say? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. This person is, is rich, well off, or some shit like that. Very high. I just heard hierarchy high in the in the um on a totem pole when it comes to occult. The occult. This person could even be a rapper. This 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 could be listen. This person's in a uh, for some of y'all here in the public eye. I got so many emails about you. My um reading about somebody being in the public eye. Y'all could go check that out. Child. Yeah. But they get real upset when you um when you when you move forward. They they do, but they come back to attach shit all the time. That's why I tell y'all cord cutting is a constant thing, okay? Cleansing is a constant thing. These people are gang stalking you. They ain't gonna just do one type of work on you and then stop. They do it often, okay? It's their job. They're contracted to do it. So you gotta keep cutting cords. You have to keep cleansing. You have to stay on top. For those of you who um who who do reversals and stuff like that, uh You might want to utilize that, okay? I hope that helped y'all. 